Welcome to Programming Castle, I'm Nanat and you're watching Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial series. In the next three episodes we are going to cover elements of App Transform. So first on our list is... In this episode we are talking about F vector and some methods that are commonly used that require F vector. So F vector, it is a C++ struct and we already said before that everything in Unreal that has F prefix is a struct. F vector is a point in 3D space, as you can see in a picture down below. And it has X, Y and Z variables. It also has 11 different constructors and we are going to take a look at them later in this video. Some of them, not all of them. And it can be used, for example, to store actor's location. And as you can see, when we click, when we are in Unreal Editor and we click on some actor, we can see this transform category here and we got location. And for example, vector is used for this location here. So, X, this arrow represents X coordinate. As you can see, X is changing while I'm moving this object. Green arrow represents Y coordinate and blue arrow represents Z coordinate. So let's jump into code so I can show you some tricks. All right, so first of all, if you type F vector, well, right click, go to definition, we can see that F vector is 100% a struct. All right, now in previous episode, we used F vector for storing actor's location. Now let me show you some different ways to get actor location. I think that there are three of them. So first way is to create F transform. Let's say actor transform equals to get transform. And then down below we type actor transform that get location. So this returns an F vector that is location. So we type here F vector location equals to blah 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 okay so this is one way but let's look at second way so second way is to type get transform dot get location so what we're doing here is we are storing get transform in variable and then later on we are accessing get location but here we are accessing get location right away after getting transform and third way is to just type get actor location so all these three ways are doing exactly the same thing and in this episode we are going to use set actor location but we are not going to use any single one of these ways what we're going to do is we're going to use constructor so type f vector let's say actor location equals to and now i'm not going to type get actor location and or get transform and that sort of things but I'm going to use constructor. So what is a constructor? So constructor in C++ is called when object is created. And we are using constructor to set the default values for variables. So this is how you call constructor. You say f vector parenthesis. And as you can see, we got 11 different constructors here. Let me open documentation and here we got f vector we are in f vector page so f vector has these variables x y and z we already said that and it has 11 different constructors okay so let's look at some of them for example this one this one is interesting so constructor initializing all components to a single float value so this is what this constructor does so example we say 10.f and now this actual location will have three variables x y and z and they will all be equal to 10 and if we right click go to definition we can see this constructor so we got this value 10 in our case so as you can see oops we passed in 10 so x is going to be equal to 10 y is going to be equal to 10 and z will be equal to 10 all right and for example we got this constructor so this construct in this, for this constructor we have three variables so one for x one for y and one for z so if we say for example 10 that f 50 that f and 30 that f now x will be equal to 10 y will be equal to 50 and z will be equal to 30. right click and go to definition and here you can see that 
So let's actually say just 10.f, but we need to use set actor location and pass in actor location. And as I said before, we only need to pass in first parameter because other parameters have equal signs. So that means that they only have predefined default values. So actor location, but we can change these values if we want. So actor location. And now let me compile this, control F5. And when I hit play, as you can see, location is changed to 10, 10, and 10. So let's try to use constructor that requires three variables, for example. So let me compile this. So when I hit play, boom. So let's see, 10, 20, 30. And you probably know this, but we can actually access X, Y, and Z variables. So actor location dot x dot z dot y as you can see we can access we get access to them so let's change z for example z plus equals to 20 f so i'll compile this and when i hit play button as as you can see z is increased for 20 and now you learn the basics of f vector. So exercises for today are try to use different constructors for f vector. So play a little bit with different constructors. Thank you for choosing this tutorial. Have a great day and see you in next episode.